Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the perimeter of a shape using a grid. And remember, perimeter is the distance around the outside of a shape. In our previous perimeter videos, we used grids and unit squares to count the units around the outside of a shape. Now we're going to take this a step further, and even though we're still using grids, we're not going to count each individual unit. We're actually going to move away from that because eventually we're going to find perimeter without using grids. Let's jump into number one, where we need to find the perimeter of that rectangle. Again, we're not going to count each individual unit going all the way around. And for numbers one and two, we're going to be working with feet. So each side of a square is one foot. So how do we find perimeter without counting each foot all the way around? Well, we find perimeter by adding all of the side lengths. That will give us the distance around the shape, the perimeter. Let's start by figuring out the side lengths, and we will start up top. We have one foot here and one foot here. That means that that side length is two feet. Now this is a rectangle, so the opposite side, that bottom side length, is going to be the same. So this side length is two feet as well. As far as the other two sides, this is one foot, two feet, three feet, four feet, five feet, six feet. So this side is going to be six feet, and the side across from it, so the left side here, is going to be the same, so that side length is six feet as well. Now all we need to do is add those four side lengths to get the perimeter. So we need to do two feet plus six feet plus two feet plus six feet. So perimeter equals, I'm going to use P for perimeter, two feet plus six feet plus two feet plus six feet and once we add those up, that will give us the perimeter. Now keep in mind, it does not matter what order we add these side lengths in. As long as we include all of the sides, we will get the correct perimeter. Now let's add. So two feet plus six feet is eight feet, plus two feet is 10 feet, plus six feet is 16 feet. So the perimeter, equals 16 feet. That's the distance around the outside of that rectangle. Let's try another example and move on to number two. Let's start by figuring out the side lengths and we will start up top here. This is one foot, two feet, three feet, four feet, five feet. So this side length is five feet. Now looking at the opposite side, so the bottom here, that's going to be the same. So this is five feet as well. As far as the other sides, we have one, two, three, four, five feet. So this side length is five feet and the opposite side length is the same. So this is five feet as well. And it looks like we are working with a square here. All of the sides are the same. So let's add these four sides up to find the perimeter. So perimeter equals five feet plus five feet plus five feet plus five feet. Five plus five is 10 plus five is 15 plus five is 20 feet. And that is our perimeter for number two, the distance around the outside of that square. Now let's move on to numbers three and four, and you're going to try these examples on your own. Here are numbers three and four, and you're going to try these on your own. So find the perimeter of each rectangle by adding the side lengths. So have paper and pencil ready. We are working with meters for numbers three and four. Four. Now you can either pause the video and work through these or let the video play and I'll give you a minute and a half. Whenever you're ready, move ahead to the answers and check your work. 
go ahead and start. Okay, so let's see what we have here for the perimeters. I'm going to put up the perimeter for number three and the perimeter for number four. So you can check your answers. The perimeter for number three, 26 meters. Moving on to number four, the perimeter here, 22 meters. Now for both of these, like we talked about earlier, it doesn't matter what order we add the side lengths in. So if your work looks a little different than mine, that's okay. As long as all of the sides are included, that's what's important and we will get the correct perimeter. So there you have it. There's how to find perimeter by using a grid and adding the side lengths. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.